This is a three digit seven segment display. It is connected in such a way that all the individual segments are connected from one digit to the next. This means that if you want to display a number, say five, then all three digits will display the same thing. The only thing you can control is whether each digit is on or off. If this is the case, then how do you go about displaying three different numbers like this? In this tutorial, I will show you how to display multiple numbers on the three digit seven segment display. Okay, let's go over the materials. For this tutorial, I am using the common anode three digit display model number 2381BS. Since each of the segments are individual LEDs, you would need seven current limiting resistors. I am using 680 ohm resistors. You will also need a breadboard, jumper wires, the Arduino Uno, and a power supply. Anything between 5 to 12 volts is fine. I'm going to be using a 5 volt power supply for this tutorial. To reduce the number of digital pins required, I'm also going to be using the 7447 BCD encoder. If you guys aren't familiar with this chip, I'll link a tutorial on how to use it in the description below. Okay, let's look at the schematic. The display has a total of 11 pins, 8 to control the 8 individual LEDs, including the decimal point, and 3 to control the 3 digits. The schematic for the connections is shown here. Pins 8, 9, and 12 will be connected to pins 8, 9, and 12 on the Arduino respectively. And the four input pins for the BCD encoder will be connected to pins 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the Arduino. The rest of the connections are between the 7447 chip and the seven segment display. Once everything is hooked up, we can go straight to the software. Here's the code that I wrote. You can download it in the description below. As with all my Arduino code, I broke up the main sections into tabs, which allows for better organization. Here I've defined my digit pins as constant variables. Next, I've defined the four input pins of the BCD encoder, with A being the least significant bit and D being the most significant bit. I then created an array to store the three digit pins. Next, I have my function prototypes, which lists all the functions that I have created. For the setup function, I initialized all the digital pins that we are using as outputs. Then I turn on all three digits by using the function turn on digit. To test if the seven segment display is working properly, I created a function called count to nine. When you run this, your seven digit display should output the numbers zero to nine continuously. If this isn't the case, then double check your connections. Let's go over some of the functions. The function display num will display the specified number. It takes as an input the numbers 0 through 9 and displays that number on the segment display. I'll go ahead and input 5 and run the code. Remember that all three digits were turned on in the setup code, so all three digits will display the number 5. Okay, let's go back to the original goal of displaying three separate numbers simultaneously. Let's say that I want to display the numbers 1, 2, and 3. First, I'll just display the number 1 on the far left digit. To do this, I'll turn on digit 3 and turn off digits 1 and 2. Then I'll display the number 1. When we run the code, this is what we get. Next, I want to display the number 2 on the second digit. I'll turn off digits 1 and 3 and turn on digit 2 only. Then I'll display the number 2. I'll also add a delay of 1 second. Let's see what happens when we run the code. Great, now I have the numbers 1 and 2 switching between digits 2 and 3. Next, I want to display the number 3 on the far right digit. I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier. When I run this, I should get the numbers 1, 2, and 3 displaying on their respective digits with a delay of 1 second between each. Okay, great. Now, what should we do in order to get the numbers 1, 2, and 3 to be simultaneously displayed? To do this, you'll have to play around with the delay. Let's change it to 100 microseconds and see what happens. 
I can see that with a delay of 100 microseconds that the numbers are pulsing really fast between the digits. Okay, now here comes the cool part. Let's make the delay really small and see what happens. I'll change it to 5 milliseconds and then upload the code. At a delay of 5 microseconds, the digits are still pulsing, but it is pulsing so fast that our eyes cannot detect it. Therefore, it is processed as three separate numbers being displayed simultaneously. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so now that I know how to display three different numbers at the same time, I can put all of this into a function. I named this function displayNum3. It takes in three inputs, which corresponds to the three numbers that you want to be displayed. For example, if you want to display the numbers 3, 6, and 8, you'll input it as follows. When you run the code, you'll get the three numbers displayed on the respective digits. Okay, well that concludes this video. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.